Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston, and today is the 31st of May, 2016, and one of my subscribers brought this to my attention. This is a letter from the president, and it's called The Space Report. I found this over here at whitehouse.gov. Now, I already made this video once, so now I'm just putting the words in because apparently my audio didn't pick up whatsoever. This letter is, Dear Mr. Chairman, quote-unquote, Dear Senator, quote-unquote, Dear Representative, I transmit herewith in accordance with Section 1613 of National Defense Authorization Act for fis Fiscal Year 2016, Public Law 114 through 92, the report the report and classified annex on an integrated policy to deter adversaries in space. The report is the result of an interagency process with the objectives to reduce the risks to the United States and our allies in space and to protect and preserve the rights, access, capabilities, use, and freedom of action of the United States in space. Success will require a multi-year effort and commitment all across departments and agencies. I look forward to your continued support. Sincerely, Barack Obama. Now again, I've already made this video. There was no audio, so I'm trying to keep up with what I already did here. But you can go right over to whitehouse.gov and congress.gov and see this for yourself. This is the National Defense Authorization Act, which is enormous. And to quote B. Rich, it's written at a fifth grade level. There's lots of words in all these laws and House resolutions that they're passing like a big fence all the way around the American people, but it's easy to read. Section 1613 shows, where is it? Section, section 1613 shows it requires the president to establish an interagency process to develop a policy to, to deter adversaries in space. Now, I know a lot of people are going to go, well, that's to protect countries from countries in outer space. Well, that's ridiculous because it'd be a hell of a lot easier to protect country and other countries on the planet as opposed to in outer space. And I can't help but notice the timing. You know what I mean? Over Wright Patterson Air Force Base, there's a UFO scene and videotape from all sorts of angles. And it just so happens to look exactly like the illustrious Black Knight satellite. And the fact that NASA's been caught numerous times and in video saying they can't even make it through the Van Allen belt and to protect... We get further Earth. away from Earth. We'll pass through the Van Allen belt, an area of dangerous radiation. Radiation like this could harm the guidance systems, onboard computers, or other electronics on Orion. Naturally, we have to pass through this danger zone twice, once up and once back. But Orion has protection. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. Sensors aboard will record radiation levels for scientists to study. Okay, so they're actually saying they have to make the spaceship so that they can protect the equipment itself. Yet, they've already claimed that almost 50 years ago with the, with the, the capabilities of a nice calculator, they did it and none of the astronauts actually remember any of it. They're setting us up. This is an absolute setup. From the letter to the president, to the National Defense Authorization Act, it's all right there. This isn't some conspiracy channel. You know what I mean? This isn't before it's news. And then over Wright Patterson, a UFO was caught from every single solitary angle. If that was a spaceship being tested or that was some futuristic technology, anti-gravitical electromagnetic technology, there's no way everyone would have got video this long. And the fact that Fox News pushed it should have everybody paying attention. It looks just like the Black Knight, basically. So I guess what I'm saying here is it looks like we're being set up. The skies yesterday around here, I videotaped them, were horrendous. It was like an absolute sea of plasma. You couldn't see through anything. You couldn't see the moon. You couldn't see the stars. You couldn't see the sun. You couldn't see the sky. And they were up there frantically chemtrailing still. 
it appears that they're putting a backdrop up there for their new technology. Call it Project Bluebeam, Holographic, Laser, whatever. Combine that with the voice to skull technology that we already know they have. They've used it on billboards in New York where you walk a certain distance away and the billboard starts talking to you in your head. If that's available commercially, imagine what they have in store for us now. I think the chemtrails are like a movie screen. They're going to use holographics, lasers, voice to skull technology, and fool everybody. Long story short, I think this is all the setup right here. That's why they're passing the laws. They're well aware that we can see that stuff. They're well aware I'm going to see. They're well aware people are going to see that stuff, and then make a video about it. Anyways, I'm Richie from Boston. I'll leave you links for all this stuff. This is what I think. Tell me what you think in the comments. Richie from Boston. I'm out.